Ah, right, people, welcome back to another video. Ah, right, guys, so today I just got an updated video for Handheld Companion. New version came out about, let me see, about three weeks ago. So it's been out for a minute already, right? Comes with a lot more features. So I'm just gonna give you guys an overall update again, show you guys what's going on, if anything changed. And for all my new people that's just coming out, checking out Handheld Companion, I'll be going over all the features that it has and what you can do with it, right? As you guys may know or may not know, this is basically a Legion space replacement, right? So you got all the bells and whistles in here and you don't have to ever open up Legion space again if you don't want to. All right, let me get into it real quick and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so first things first, I'll put this link down in the description box down below so you can download it. It's basically a GitHub page. I know some people have been having trouble downloading this as well. So let me just show you guys how to do that. Once you go down here, you click this right here. It brings you up to here, give you a download file, right? It will try to download depending on how you got your Legion, Legion Go set up. Might not, right? This is right here saying I can't download it because it's not used to this thing. This website, click right here. Then I keep opening this up. Then I keep anyway. Then it will download. Once that's done, you just open up regularly and then you can download it like a regular software that you downloaded from the internet, guys. All right, so once you got everything downloaded, right? Um, You got all the settings right here. We could customize and have a companion to your liking. So I'm gonna go through each one give you overall overview and everything and what's going on, right? Uh, first thing I wanna show you, let's say you wanna disable Legion Space, you don't wanna use it anymore, this is what you're using, right? When you just download it, if you go to notification, you will see this right here. It says Legion Space tasks and service are active. You can hit this and you can disable it permanently, temporarily until you wanna enable it. So you come here, disable it right here, and then you're up and running with just a companion and Legion Space won't get in your way anymore, right? So now back, if I go to settings, this is where you see all your, to the auto applications, open application and background, all those basic stuff that you have in settings, change the language, and it'll be UI sounds. So everything is in there if you wanna mess around with settings for this particular application, right? Go back to controller. First there, you see like two controllers right here. So if you come in controller, you got your virtual controller and your physical controller. So if you plug in a device directly to your Legion space, like a physical controller, this will you come and you can calibrate it and everything right in here, guys. Come down a little bit. You got controller status. So connected, disconnected, controller type. So basic, so basic controller stuff in here, guys. So controller management, you can turn it on and off. Come down, you can mess with the vibration. When you connect it, it will vibrate. If you want to do it like that, you can hide it. And come down, you got desktop layout. Come in here, if you go to device, this is where you got the meat of the stuff in here, right? So in here you got configurable power CTDP override. As soon as you try to turn this on, it says alter minimum and maximum CPU power value might cause instability, right? So if you do this, it's telling you to do it at your own risk. So you don't want to really want to be messing around with overclocking your CPU if you're not really educated on processor and overheating and stuff like that because you might clock it over its limit or too much and you start overheating and then your device will be burning up in a couple minutes so you could mess around with it do your research first before you try to over overclock it or you want to set it within the range within like 30 and below that just so you're in the safe mode of not um killing your process so then you got uh, minimum power, maximum power, then you got battery charge limit. You can set a battery charge limit as well. So the battery charge limit is for longevity for your battery. You don't wanna be charging your battery 200% every time you charge it because that's basically deteriorating the battery over a period of time. If you charge it to 80%, most of the time, your battery longevity will be way better, guys. So you have this device for a longer time and your battery will be in good shape for a long time. So that's basically what I was saying. All right, so if you come down a little bit, I have to touch pad, press, press through. So now right here, this is your gyro stuff. So if you're not trying to mess with Legion Space, the gyro settings, if you disable it, you could set it up right here as well and have all your driver stuff here. So if you come down here, it says sensor selection, right? You can set it to your left controller or right controller. So depending on what you're doing and what hand you're using and how you want your play style, right? So first you set this to controller top and then you set this one and whichever one you want to set it for. This is how you set up your gyro. So you set it to your left, 
then you come in here and you can mess with like the dead zones trigger dead zones and trigger margins in here as well and you come down do the same thing for the right stick so this way you can set up a gyro guys and trust me it works fine i see a lot of people using online and i use it a little bit as well but i don't i'm not really a gyro person so i don't really use it that much but i did test it out and it does work this touchpad right here if you download this and you notice that this is not working this is the reason why so i want to come here and you want to enable this and then you'll get it up and running i was having a bit of a trouble when i first downloaded the software my touchpad wasn't working come in here you can turn that on you need a touchpad will be up and running let's go to performance as like i said come in here you could mess with your maximum cpu count and then your thermal tdp limit and everything here as well and they also set a preset in here in here the main thing in here i would say is auto tdp so auto tdp this is a great feature right here guys you can set an fps and then the device would try to boost its tdp change it automatically and try and match the fps so that you get that fps right so if you set it at like 40 and you have your tdp set at like maybe like 15 and it says oh i can't hit this fps with this tdp it will change the tdp automatically just to try and hit that fps but you want to make sure you set it reasonable right and all depending on what type of game you're playing and you got to know the type of game you're playing and know if it could hit that fps on the device you're using which is the legion go you know if you know the device can't hit that tdp don't try to push it over that because it will try and try and it will never get there cpu boost you could enable it and disable it in here up to you and power mode you could set in here as well efficiency balance and performance and i know when you open a legion space you, you, you guys should know what i'm talking about so this is for your OS. So you could put efficiency, balance, or, power, or performance. Here also in profile, this is where you could select your profile for a specific game, or you could also leave it on your global settings if you didn't create a profile. So once you create one, you hit plus sign, and you can find executable, and then you can link it to that specific profile, right? And then once you got it up and running, then it will be specifically just for that game. All right, so for your hotkeys, so this is where you can come and you set up all your hotkeys. Summon quick tool, display and hide, main window, uh, display 3D controller, display virtual touchpad, layout, and touch keyboard. Once you come in here, you can press any button you want and it will like put that command in there, right? So that's how you set it up, not that hard. So for the quick tool summon, I'll put it in the back button right here. So if I press this, the back button on the left controller, it brings it up right here, right? So this is like a new added feature, came out about two months ago, around there. So in here, you could do the same thing as what you did in here. So if you're not trying to open up this menu right here, this big menu, you can use the quick menu. You get what I'm saying, guys? You pull up your 3D controller, touchpad right here, and it's right here, you probably can't see it, but for some reason it doesn't work on the Legion Go. So I'm thinking because the Legion Go already got a touchpad, so that's why. So if you have the Rogue Ally X, this is a great option for you guys. You can pull up a touchpad right there in the screen and it'll be more accurate than you trying to use your fingers, right? Then you can see your desktop layout if you're in a game or something like that. And then display the keyboard right here. So that, that's, those are some great options right there. I'm not gonna lie to you. Come down here, you go to devices. Same thing here, you can mess with your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, night light, and all your basic stuff in here, your display, and then also your refresh rate. Come to profile so remember if you create a profile here this is where you come and you can mess with that and you can change your profile and you also got your gyro settings right here your motion control settings also got your battery preset performance balance efficiency then you got the overlay settings again right here so with your overlay track your fps you can enable your overlay from right here to minimal extended full whatever you want to do it guys you can also do it here as well that's basically it that's annual companion for you guys that's what i'm telling you you don't really have to use legion space if you don't want to everything is right here own option they don't give you an annual companion is to see your games and boot up your game but if you have all your games on your desktop already you don't need your space to do that or if you got play night or any other software like that that could have all your games in one then you can use play night and then use and a companion together in conjunction and you can do it like that because play night is a great software as well that does have all your games in one spot and you can customize it to your liking to whatever settings you want make it look like a playstation or xbox or wii or switch anything like that guys you get a lot more customizability with play night as well and use both of them together and, and that way you don't gotta ever open legion space again 
right now i really do not ever open legion space unless i think there's an update that i'm trying to do then I open it and then i'll update it also i think there's some people that have been having some issue with hannah companion saying it's not working properly some features are not working it's not booting up it's not turning off for them i'm thinking it might be the driver you're on or the bios so make sure everything is up to date guys because i'm on the side loaded driver which is 24.9.1 and it works perfectly fine so if you're trying to side load your driver do it like that and have a companion on that then you should be good if you're an older driver or anything like that then and you're having issues then probably that's the issue i'm not sure why most some people are having issues guys a lot of people ask me oh this is not working it's not turning off for me not booting up i don't know exactly why but it could be the driver you're on you know what i'm saying so yeah so that's basically it, guys if you have any questions for me drop a comment down below let me know what you think how long you've been using on a companion or if you if you're using any other software or if you're using playing night right let me know when was the last time you opened up legion space and hit the like button like what i'm posting guys sub to channel for more awesome content guys and remember what i always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys thanks for tuning in